Hey everybody, it's Gamaragi. We're back with Okami. Last time we restored Kamiki Village uh, pretty much entirely, I think. Uh, and then Sakuya gave us the lily pad ability so we can cross water. Which is awesome, because that'll let us get to Agata Forest. And hopefully find another guardian sapling over there too. So let's do it! I haven't done any of the wanted list stuff. Uh, I meant to do that, but then I just kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I'll do it eventually. And I saw this during editing, this devil gate over here. I completely passed it. So let's take care of this too. Down, demons! Uh oh. Oops. Oh yeah, and uh, apparently I can use the Z button to draw straight lines. So let's see. Oh my god. Wow. It's so much easier. <laughs> I gotta remember to do that though. It's kind of weird. Hello. Buddy. Hello. Alright. You're gonna get a bomb right to the bum. I said a bomb right to the bum. I, s I said... Right to the bum. Wow! Perfectly straight lines every time. That's crazy to me. <laughs> I had no idea you could even do that. Oh, praise. There you go, Bonnie's. Have some herbs. Sweet. So yeah, if I draw with Z instead of A, it makes a straight line. Hmm. I can't like connect it to stuff though. Huh. It's pretty wacky. I had no idea you could even do that. <laughs> Man, that would have made life so much easier. Many a many a time. I wish they had a, cir a circle drawing button. Cause then, I wouldn't have to do anything. <laughs> Hello. Alright. So we got the forest we go. With lily pads, and lily pads, and lily pads. Swim a little bit. Lily pad. Ah. I wish I could, like, stand on the lily pad and blow it along, like, like in a Zelda game. That would be cool. Okay. Last one. Last one. Perfect bomb. <laughs> Man, some of my circles do not look very good at all. <laughs> the curse zone expanded into the forest? I thought evil would shun areas with so much grass and trees. There must really be some curse, the way it's changed the forest. Oh no. Wow. It's not looking too hot. Hopefully we can find that guardian sapling. I actually don't remember where it is. But, I do remember there's like a little house thing down here.
Yikes, with like a scary skull on the top. Huh? What's a house doing here in this cave? How could anyone live here with that curse zone spreading around? That's a good question. Isun, my good buddy. And a uh, whole lot. Treasure chests on fire! Uh oh. Hope there's not anything important in there. <laughs> Hello? Wow, you have a stray bead in your house? Okay. Ooh! Oranges from a gong. Oh god. Creepy doll. Oops. See, I'm already forgetting to use Z. Whoa, what? What? I think that's a save point, but I don't know why it's there. <laughs> um, hello? Madam Fawn. <laughs> you come, White Wolf, and you look troubled. You may call me Madam Fawn. I read bones to see the future. I knew you would come. I saw it in a vision. Oh, yeah? It's pretty good. Bone reader. It looks like the world outside is in great chaos. This is not to say that it was not predestined to happen. However, this year is special. This is the hundredth year since Nagi and Shiradui's adventure. You saw the enormous cursed area on your way here, did you not? Land rendered barren, all who approach tainted by darkness. Only one creature possesses the power to control this. Orochi! <laughs> Even so, the rate at which it spreads. Incredible! The curse can only be lifted by restoring the guardian saplings. Perhaps you will encounter one hidden here in Agata Forest. That's enough idle talk for now. I'm trying to run a business here. Like I told you, I am a fortune teller. The bones reveal all. If you have money, I can even tell your future, Wolf. Interesting. Um, I suppose. Aha! Then let us listen to what the bones have to say, friend. Wah! It's coming to me, I can see it. In the dense and leafy forest inside a cave sealed by a rock, a part of the wood sprite waits to be revived. It waits for a holy bomb to break the cracked rock. I can't tell you anymore for now. You'll have to seek the out clues yourself. <laughs> Dang. Prediction get. Oh my god, that voice did not sound good in my ears or my mouth. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Why is this here? Well... I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out eventually. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta go break a rock somewhere. With a bomb. Probably not this one, though. I think this one's... You're supposed to be able to slice it, but... Whoa. I used Z that first time, and it went all crazy. Huh. Yeah, I don't think this is a bomb Nah. Explodo? Nope. You know, that's cool. I don't know if I ever noticed, but those bombs have fireworks in them. That's sweet. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can do much else in here. Let's go! Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's Curse Zone. I thought that was part of the beach. <laughs> let's not go in there! I'm looking for a rock. Ah. 
this all cursed? Oh man. Deep in the forest, there's a rock. Hmm. Am I supposed to go into the curse zone? I don't really remember having to do that. It's just draining my ink. Oh. Oh god. Oh, it was just nighttime? Oh god, that's health, isn't it? Shoot! Oh my god. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> don't go in there. That's bad. That's bad news. Hmm. Alright, alright. Whoops! Okay. Uh... Let's try going this way, maybe? Oh god. Man, those are fast! I came in from up there. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Maybe I was supposed to go like through her house or something. Or follow this little narrow ledge. Huh? Huh? Hello. Where do you go? A cave? Oh, I thought it was a cutscene. Okay. <laughs> Is this where I was supposed to go? Wow! Wow, they really hid that. Oh my god. Guardian sapling! Hyper Rooney. Alright, well, let's do it. I say, I say, let's do it. We did it! Man. Oh my god! Devout beads. A new divine instrument guarded by a guardian sapling, eh? Wow, Saki is gonna spoil you at this rate. Anyway, this is gonna make your life a whole lot easier. The monsters are going to try to get you any way they can. So you need to equip a good divine instrument to practice with it. And practice with it. <laughs> but remember, there's more than simply equipping them. They can be equipped as a sub-weapon or a main weapon. A weapon's effect will differ depending on how it's equipped. You can even pull off some secret techniques with your sub-weapons. Even after your 100 year nap, you remember that much, right? I know you're not looking too bright, but no sweat. No thinking involved. Just try to equip that new divine instrument as a main weapon. Okay. Will do. Then we'll do this as a sub weapon. <laughs> uh, I think as a sub weapon, you can use the reflector as a shield, and the rosary type weapons 
like these devout beats, uh, they shoot, like you can shoot bullets as a sub-weapon, and as a main weapon, it's an awesome whip. And honestly, it's the easiest weapon to use, <laughs> so I'm probably gonna stick with rosary weapons for a long time. They're just so easy to use! Got the hang of it? Well, let me give, give you an example. You know that mirror of yours? Well, it acts as a shield when equipped as a sub-weapon. Hey, he soon, dude. I got it covered, don't worry about it. If you're under attack, press the Z button to guard with it. You should test it out in the, on the monsters in the area. Oh, and one more thing. Do you remember what Saki you said, don't you? The sacred tree in Kamiki Village will bear a guardian fruit each time a guardian sapling is revived. Make sure to stop by Sakuya's tree whenever you return to Kamiki. Okay. And I wonder if he says that if you never get that dialogue from her. Because... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I never knew about that fruit thing. Hello? Oh, are you a bunny? Shoot. Oh. <laughs> it's all good. Look how cool the rosary weapons look. They just like rotate around your neck. Rotate. Rotate. But yeah, the rosary is really easy to use because all you gotta do is wiggle the Wii remote and it attacks continuously. <laughs> so no timed swings or anything like that. It's just nice and easy. Hark! The call of the heavens, the earth, the sea! They summon me forth to defeat evil. Waka, the god's gift to man, is here. Bonjour! Tao Master Waka. Hey! Is this the same Waka that was supposed to keep watch over the shrine? You blew it, Waka. What's up with that guy? That crimson shading and divine instrument on your back? You look kinda weird, but I reckon you pack a punch, baby. Hey, think you're so special way up there, huh? Get down here and talk face to... Wait, did he say crimson shading? Can he see Ami's true form? Wow. How you doing then? <laughs> hey, he drew a sword. Not just that. A lightsaber. We. Oui. This is how I get my point across. Pun intended. The moment the curse zone started spreading across Nippon, I saw the shadowy figure that removed the sacred sword, Sukiyomi. Flee into Kamiki Village and seal the entrance with a huge rock. Hmm. Who did that? You guys know anything about that? This guy gives me the creeps. Better keep your eye on him. Huh? Emmy? You getting all worked up again? Magnifique! I wouldn't have it any other way. Now you shall get an earful of my beloved sword. Behold, Pillow Talk! Wait, is that the name of your sword? Let's rock, baby! Oh dear. Got like double swordage. All right, Waka. Eat crazy whip. Oh my God. Ugh. 
Ugh. Eat crazy whip chain. Wow, I keep dodging directly backwards. <laughs> He's pretty tough though, I think. Dude! Oh my god. Woo. Okay, okay. Let's eat a bone. I have him for a reason. Okay. <laughs> There we go, okay. It's been quite some time since I've tasted your power, Amara- Um, uh, jeez, I wasn't expecting him to say the whole name. Matarasu. That's enough for now. Too late now, you're the one who picked the fight. Hey, wait. You know this guy, Ami? <laughs> well, that was pretty tactless. Excu excuse moi, baby. You see, I was looking into that curse zone that struck this area. It consumed all in its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orochi, the legendary eight headed serpent. Oh, Orochi? Do not utter that name without reason. That alone could curse the weak of mind. Orochi was slain 100 years ago by Nagi and Shiranui, and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave, which I guarded. You know, the cave in the middle of the lake, over on Shinshu Field? Yep. But someone has gone and freed Orochi by removing Tsukuyomi. Beast Evil has caused a curse zone to cover these lands. I never thought the Sacred Sword could be so easily removed. Whoever did it waited till I was back in the capital. Hmm. Seems things are afoot that even I could not prophesize. Did not. <laughs> not paying attention. We're way ahead of you, pretty boy. We've been busy dispelling the curse left, uh, left and right. That Orochi's gonna be mincemeat when we're through with it. So you're the ones who've revived the trees in this area. But a lot of time's passed since Orochi's return. You'd better pick up the pace, Mashari. What? I'm sorry to say, our battle just now was a big disappointment. You're not what you used to be, Amaterasu. You may have defeated Orochi long ago, but... One cannot dwell on past glories. You have weakened greatly during your 100-year slumber. That's enough! Now tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing to Kamiki. How do we know it wasn't you? Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. I can see into the future, you know. I foresee a log and big thrills. Oh, snap. <laughs> uh, look his hand sign there. You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. Anyway, I must be off. The work of a prophet is never done. A revoir, baby! Woo! He can fly? Why can't we fly? What a freak! Who the heck does he think he is? Hey, wake up, Amy. We got work to do. <laughs> oh my god. Ami does not pay attention to anything. Oh, so terrible. 
<laughs> so very terrible. I'm getting used to things. Still getting used to things. So apparently that dodge isn't like dodging forward means you're dodging like into the background. Dodging backward is towards the camera. It's not like in relation to where I'm facing at all. So I, I'm just getting used to things. I, don't worry about it. But did you see how cool the rosary was? It's like a crazy constant electrical zappy zap chain thing. Yeah, something like that. So these little bulbies with the little glowing balls in them, we can bloom these and get items. If I do it right. Ba -ba. Look at that, I got my bone back. No loss here. <laughs> oh. More treasure. For the selling. For the selling. Uh oh. Someone's having a rainy day over there. Man, this place looks so different with the curse zone gone, because all these trees were like covered up by it. Whoop. Glass beads. Too bad they're not stray beads. If we break the glass beads and scatter them all over the ground, would they be stray beads? That'd be pretty nice. Huh. Dig, 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 dig. I'll get you yet, chest. Steel soul socket. Hmm. Yeah, Waka's actually, he's probably the hardest fight in the early game. Uh, I was really thinking I was about to die there. <laughs> I pretty much was. I had like, what, half, half a heart thing? Half a sun fragment? Whoops, I'm sorry. I just headbutted you. Alright, let's talk to this dude first. Oh. Right after we get this devil gate over here. Infinity. You know what I probably should have used on Waka was a bunch of bombs. That would have been really good. Man, actually this, the Rosary does do like an extra hit, so, like an, an extra hit after they die, so then I can't do the, um, what should I think it, Floral Finisher, yeah, <laughs> man I couldn't think of it, yeah. If you hit them after they're after they're floating up in the air like that, I guess it just ruins that floral finisher chance. Hello there. It's a nice bear skin little cape you got there. Karude. Well, now there's something you don't see every day. A white wolf. You look just like that Shiranui. There used to be a lot of animals here in Nagata Forest. But they started to disappear when the number of monsters increased. Oh, listen to me. Now's hardly the time for that kind of chat. Hmm, I wonder what could have happened. I don't suppose you bumped into my son in the forest, did you? Narai River was flooded during the storm the other day, you see. 
The bridge to Kusa village was completely washed away. I asked my son to get to work on building a new bridge, but he's so busy with that dog of his that he just won't make a start. You asked your son to build a whole bridge? The dog my son so smitten with is called Ume. I found him injured in the forest a long time ago. My son nursed him back to health, so he's a bit overprotective. He's become so soft that he has no sense of adventure now at all. But if a man lives in the forest, there are things he has to do. That's why I'm determined to get him to build a new bridge. I'm sure he can do it. I just have to trust in him and be patient. Okay. We'll go have a chat with your sunny sun son. Hello. Oh, what a pain. Deep in Agata Forest, there's a big river called Narai River. The bridge over it was destroyed in a storm the other day. So now I can't get a hold of any new stock. Luckily, I've got quite a lot in reserve, so, uh, so I can still trade. Feel free to take a look if you've been set to do the shopping, pup. Okay. Gold dust? Unleashes the potential of weapons. Oh yeah, you use this to upgrade your weapons. Uh, ooh. Maybe I should buy that. That's kind of like a really rare thing. So he probably only has one to sell. Should definitely get some of these, though. Alright, I'm gonna get this too. Oh wait, how many can I buy? Uh, okay, I'm not gonna get any more. <laughs> one is good. <laughs> Could I upgrade it right now if I wanted to? Uh, in weapon. Hmm. I don't remember how we upgrade. There might be a blacksmith or something. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we need that gold dust, though. To Hit Hitoshio... Hitoshio Spring? Hmm. Okay. Got a forest, why are you so big? Another merchant? Oh, this is the Demon Fang guy! Scroll down by a watering artist contains useful information. Hello? Kiba? Oh! How funny! I don't think I've seen a white wolf before. What's your name? What? Come on, tell me your name. You may only be a wolf, but manners are manners. The name's Isun. And this furball here is a Matarasu. That's a bit of a mouthful. Let's go with Chalky, shall we? As for me, I'm the infamous Fang Trader. Yes, I am the great Kiba. Chalky, really? Thanks a lot, Kiba. Now then, Chalky. You know about monster leftovers, right? You know what you get when you defeat a monster. I'm talking about the demon fangs. Demon fangs? All you need to do is tan those monsters' hides. And they drop a demon fang just before they disappear. The aristocrats love to have them as a symbol of power. They'll pay any price you care to ask. So then, Chucky, got any of those on you? I do. <laughs> Naturally, I don't expect you to give them to me for free. I, the Great Kiba, have collected treasures from all over Nippon. We could do a swap. Swap to swap to swap. Oh, and does he have good stuff to swap? Ah, uh, yes he does. So the Golden Lucky Cat draws money and other valuables near. That would be good. But, make a cash offering and sleep on this mat and your wounds will heal. So it's like a tent thing. Hmm. Emits a holy tone that keeps demon scrolls at bay. Oh my god. I want that. And these are just consumables. So I don't want those. Hmm. Should I save for the golden lucky cat? Or... I kind of want this peace bell. <laughs> he gets more stuff later. Some really good stuff. Okay, cool. Equipo. I have three accessory slots. And there's one of them. 
Ah, now those demon scrolls won't chase me. <laughs> Stupendous. <laughs> um, okay, we saw that kid over there. That little face over there. But I wanted to see what's down here. Do, 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 do. Hello! Do you like herbs, little dearies? You do. Whoa, don't poke me in the face. Jeez. It's like Edward Scissorhands trying to hug somebody. Does not end well. Susano? Hey, man. Hmm? Not you again, Fido. Tisk tisk. Why must you always dog my footsteps? I'm busy practicing a new secret technique. You see, a terrible monster lurks in Taka Pass beyond this forest. It goes by the name Crimson something or other. That's a good name. Did you name it? And it's rumored to have 100 followers. What do you mean, Crimson something or other? The names slipped my mind, that's all. Anyway, I must rid Taka Pass of that terrible monster. Before it harms anyone else. But first, I must practice my ultimate secret technique. Then again, the bridge to Taka Pass is out, so why rush? But have no fear. Once I master that technique, I shall venture forth to slay the beast, even if I have to swim those turbid waters. Now leave me be, you cur. I have some serious training to do. Okay, man. We really gotta restore that bridge. Uh, another devil gate. Whoop! And I completely forgot to show off the sub weapon. <laughs> it's okay, we'll do it in the next fight, if I remember. But yeah, it's pretty much just a shield. I think you can, like, if you time it right, you can actually do some counterattack damage. Maybe. I was never really good at using those sub weapons. I always forgot I had them. But maybe I'll do better this time. Maybe. <laughs> They just give you, they give you a lot of different tools to fight with, and, and like once you get used to using a certain thing, it's kind of hard to remember to use the other stuff, you know? Enhancing weapons. Oh hey, that's, that's what I wanted to do. Let's see. Uh, travel guide? Here it is. Divine instruments can be powered up with gold dust. This rare powder is highly valued by merchants and traders. Use it once, and the destructive power of a weapon is increased. Gold dust can be used only once and only on a single weapon. Note that even weapons powered up using this method cannot exceed the power of inherently stronger weapons obtained later. That's right. Sweet. So each weapon has one power-up level? What were these battle tips? Two important aspects of battle that you must be aware of. Bonus system, and what is known as the floral finisher. Flora- Flora finisher! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. Uh, bonuses. Bonuses provide a nice reward for particularly well-fought battles. There are two ways to increase the size of your bonus. You can defeat them quickly. And you don't take damage. Those... Okay, those two rankings in the... Screen. Attack enemies quickly and dodge their strikes with style. This is the secret to netting a handsome bonus. Bonuses increase the amount of coins dropped by fallen foes. You may want to practice grabbing these dropped coins during battle. Yeah, because they kind of disappear. <laughs> Next, we'll dis discuss the technique as a floral finisher. 
Hey, now they call it floral finisher. They call it two different things in this one tip thing. <laughs> Time warps and slows at the moment a demon leaves this mortal coil. Yes, it does. Use the brush at that instant to turn their cadaver into flora. Their resentment will crystallize into a demon fang. The required technique differs depending on enemy type. You'll need to discover which celestial brush power to use. Tales abound of collectors enamored with the bewitching demon fangs. Collecting these fangs will surely prove helpful during your journey. Yes, indeed. Hey, what's this creepy looking building doing here? This big old gate's locked tight. Hmm, mysterious. Has a picture of a fire on it, too. Suta Ruins. Suta, Suta, Suta. Alright. Cool. I think we're pretty much all the way around. <laughs> Wanna check up here, though. What we got in a secret place. Another one of those cat statues. And not a whole lot else. Okay. What you got up there, kitty cat? Something awesome, maybe? Oh, actually, wow, this is a pretty long video. I should probably end it. Uh, next time, we'll go talk to that kid over there. See if we can help him with his lost doggy. Or, uh, doggy problems. And see if we can maybe get him to build that bridge. That would be good. <laughs> Alright. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.